Hello guys, welcome back to Macout Smasher, your go-to -go platform for mastering the distributed system. In this video, we will explore the chapter 2, Distributed Database Design in detail. We will discuss the transparency, architecture, the global directories and design strategies. You will also learn about the fragmentation, data allocation and semantic data control. Efficient database design is crucial for ensuring the scalability, reliability and optimal performance. We will also dive into the query processing, the query decomposition, localization of the data. These concepts are essential for building the efficient distributed and high performance systems. By the end of this video, you will have a solid foundation in the distributed database design. So stay with us as we break down these complex topics in a structured and simple way. Okay, so let's get started. So transparency, transparency is in distributed DBMS. Transparency ensures that users perceive the system as a single unified database, even though data is distributed across the multiple locations. There are several types of transparencies in distributed DBMS. Location transparency, replication transparency, fragmentation transparency, concurrency, transparency, failure transparency and performance transparency. So at first location transparency, it allows the users to access the data without knowing its physical location. Replication transparency ensures users don't need to know if data is duplicated across multiple sites. Fragmentation transparency, it hides the fact that data is divided into smaller parts across multiple databases. Concurrency transparency ensures that multiple transactions can execute simultaneously without conflict. Failure transparency maintains the system reliability even if a node or network fails. Performance transparency allows the systems to optimize the queries automatically for better efficiency. So these transparencies simplify the user interaction with the system while enhancing the fault tolerance, efficiency and data consistency in a distributed environment. So now, distributed DBMS architecture. A distributed DBMS architecture defines the structure and organization of database components across the multiple locations. It can be broadly classified into centralized, client-server and peer-to-peer -peer architecture. In a centralized architecture, all database components are managed by a single central server, which is not scalable. Because in a client-server architecture, client sends the request to a central database server for processing and improving the efficiency. And in a peer-to-peer -peer architecture, each node has equal authority to make it fully decentralized and resilient. Another classification is based on levels of autonomy. Tightly coupled system, loosely coupled system. Tightly coupled system means they share control over the data, while loosely coupled system allow each database to operate independently. Middleware database architecture integrate different DBMS types for flexibility. Choosing the right architecture is crucial for ensuring the scalability, fault tolerance and performance optimization in a distributed environment. So global directory issue. A global directory in a DD distributed DBMS maintains the metadata about the distributed data location, structure and access paths. It is essential for efficient query processing, data retrieval and system coordination. One major challenge is consistency. The directory must be updated when data is modified. Scalability issues arises when handling large volumes of data spread across multiple sites. Synchronization delays can cause outdated directory information leading to incorrect query result. The directory can be centralized, distributed or hybrid, hybrid based on how data is stored. Centralized directories are easy to manage but introduce a single point of failure. Distributed directories improve the fault tolerance but are harder to update. Hybrid directories combine both approaches for, you can say, better balance. Effective global directory management ensures the fast query resolution, minimal latency and optimized data access in a distributed DBMS. So now, alternative design strategy. Designing a distributed database system requires careful strategic planning to balance the performance, scalability and cost effectiveness. So there are three primary design strategy, top to down, bottom up and hybrid approaches. Top down approach, the entire database system is designed first, followed by fragmentation, then data allocation. Bottom up means it involves integrating multiple local databases into a distributed system. 
but hybrid approach combines the elements of both allowing the flexibility in the system design so performance optimization security consideration and fault tolerance play a significant role in selecting a design strategy an ideal design strategy ensures minimum redundancy efficient query execution and reduced data retrieval time organization use a mix of these strategies based on their business requirement and infrastructure and workload distribution so now distributed design issues designing a distributed database system involves addressing the various challenges that impact performance security and consistency one of the key issue is data fragmentation ensuring that data is divided correctly to optimize the retrieval and storage data allocation must be balance the performance cost and reliability data replication ensures the availability but introduce the challenges like the synchronization consistency management query processing the efficiency depends on how data is fragmented and allocated concurrency control mechanism must be implemented to prevent the conflict in the distributed transaction network readability and communication delays can impact query response time security risk increases as data is distributed across the multiple locations so a well planned distributed database design minimizes these challenges while ensuring efficient scalable secure data management so now fragmentation and data allocation fragmentation divides the database into smaller manageable parts improving the performance and efficiency in a distributed dbms so there are three types of fragmentation horizontal vertical and hybrid fragmentation horizontal which stores the row of a table in different locations vertical which divides the column among the sites and hybrid fragmentation which combines the both data allocation determines where these fragments are stored in row format in column format replication based allocation keeps the copies of data at multiple sites ensuring the availability fault tolerance non redundant allocation assigns each fragment to a single site reducing the storage cost cost but increasing the risk the proper fragmentation and allocation strategies enhance the query performance and reduce the network congestion an optimal strategy considers query access pattern data consistency and communi communication cost to balance the system performance so now semantic data control semantic data control ensures that data is in a dd distributed dbms follows security integrity and consistency rules it it includes the view management data security semantic integrity control view management allows the users to access a specific data without exposing the entire database enhancing the security and efficiency data security mechanism include encryption access control and authentication to protect sensitive information semantic integrity control ensures that data relationships remain valid across distributed sites it enforces constraint like the primary key foreign key referential integrity you already know from database management system subject in this semester so without proper semantic data control data inconsistency security breaches and unauthorized modification can occur so implementing strong control mechanisms ensures data accuracy compliance and security in the distributed database management system so now query processing issues efficient query processing in a dda distributed dbms is essential for reducing the response time and optimizing the performance the objective of query processing include minimizing the data transfer and optimizing the response time and balancing the workload characterizing characterization of query processing involves classifying them based on their efficiency architecture optimization techniques you should know the layers of query processing you should note down like the first is query decomposition localization optimization and execution query decomposition breaks the complex queries into the simple sub queries for efficient execution and localization distributed the data ensures that data fragments required for a query are retrieved efficiently challenged challenges include network latency synchronization and maintaining the consistency in the distributed queries efficient query optimization techniques like cost based heuristic optimization improve the query performance ultimately so that's conclude our discussion on this uh, this chapter distributed database design we explored lots of topics so make sure you like share and subscribe to macau to smasher for more informative videos if you have any questions drop them in the comments and we will be happy to help so stay tuned for more in depth explanation
on distributed system and advanced computing keep learning and keep growing and see you in the next video thanks for watching